In this video, we will learn about list view and list style. So let's start this by going inside the second page. Because if you remember, we can access from the button or from this button as well. And nothing is inside. So this is a perfect playground for our list view and our list style. First of all, we will start by adding a body argument inside the scaffold. So let's add a body like this. And then we will start with the list view. So let's write list view like that. And we will press enter. Then the list view, if you press control space, will contain a children like the column. So we will take this one and then uh, we can format document. So right click and say format document. I use the keyboard shortcut. And after inside the, uh, the children, as you can see, we are not seeing things, but inside we can use the list tile. List tile. Let's use this one. And as you can see, we have in the list tile, a subtitle, a title, and a trailing. So we have as well a leading. So the leading is something on the start, the trailing is something on the end, and the title in the middle, because this is a container like that. Let's use a color to see how it looks. So we should be able to, uh, we don't have the color argument. This is a good tips and tricks for coding with Flutter. If you don't have what you search inside, then you can wrap it sometime, so we will refactor so control dot over list style with a container and now i will put the comma format document and now we can add the color inside the container so we'll we will do so color argument we'll use the colors widget dot green accent by example and now we will see how look the list style so this is a list style okay after inside this one, what we can add is first the leading. So first of all, a leading can be, if you go over, this is the argument, can be any widget. So we could put an icon widget. Let's do that. Icon, and if you remember the icon widget take inside icons dot something. So we will say data, um, data range, for example. And we'll say format document once again. I will put this on the side to let you see a little bit more code. And now we have add the leading. Next, we can add the trailing as well. So trailing, uh, let's use something uh, similar. So uh, icon widget, this one. Then inside we say icons dot, and let's take a random one, the, this one. <laughs> Perfect, so we have two icon. Next thing, we can add a title. So the list view, it's like a column, but for the list style. And uh, as you can see, the list style is a very nice widget to use because we can have the trailing already set up, the, uh, the trailing already set up, the leading, the title, and the subtitle. So let's add the title. Title, oops. Like this title argument. And inside this one, what we can see is it take any widget as well. But we will use a text widget to display some text on the screen. And then we will say uh, my tile, by example. Here we go. As you can see, this is format perfectly. And after we can add the subtitle as well. This one will be a text widget like this. Quotation mark. And then we can say subtitle. Here we go. So this is a very nice widget to use. And um, that's pretty much it for this video. I think we have done a, a good job with this one. I hope you enjoy it and see you on the next one. Bye.